Meets and greets, gamers. This is Games Master Jasper speaking, and I'd like to welcome you to the very first episode of This is GMJ Talk. First off, you may have noticed that I've caught a cold. And, well, this is because I've been gaming inside a human-sized freezer for several days in preparation for the upcoming Gaming Olympics. It's also the reason why I haven't been able to make any updates lately. Semper Games. I'd also like to announce that I have become good friends with longtime Latino and opposer of the gaming revolution, Samuel Tagik. In celebration of this, I have gotten his express permission to do my own take on the intro to his show. Anyway, good to be back on YouTube. I know two things that have changed since last time. The first is the release of a new Donkey Kong edition for the NES. The other is that games have been banned in Australia, but we'll touch that subject later. Hello, and welcome to Games Master Jasper's Hint Corner. In Chapter 3, in the Ghost Tunnel, there are several rooms where you should use the Rod of Sight to make invisible enemies visible and destroy them. There are some areas where that's the only way to get past a room. Other times, this will lead to extra hearts and potions. Use the Rod of Sight to make the big ghost at the end of the tunnel visible too. In Mega Man 9, try to beat the bosses in the correct order. Some bosses are weaker against certain powers granted by other bosses. In Ghosts and Goblins, try to avoid zombies. In Ghosts and Ghouls, however, zombies are considered power-ups by some members of the gaming community. In The Lost Vikings, never ever jump down a pit without using your shield as a parachute. Always try to build bridges over gaps, and try to get as many lemmings into the exit as possible. That's all for this time, gamers. Thanks for stopping by Games Master Jasper's Hint Corner. Welcome back, gamers. A lot of you have been anticipating the release of Nintendo's Donkey Kong 2.0 for the NES, and I actually managed to get my hands on a copy just in time for this installment. Thanks, Shiggy. I'd like to post a few screens from the game for you all to enjoy. Okay, let's see here. Okay... Alright. In this screenshot, Mario appears to be jumping over a barrel. Very nice. Hmm, very nice. Nice. As you can see, they fixed the barrel animation bug when barrels are dropped while the score is set to 4300 on level 1. Very good. Nice, very nice. Well, that's all for today, gamers. Donkey Kong 2.0 will be available worldwide April 2009. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of This is GMJ Talk. And remember, if you think a game is too hard, try an easier difficulty. Gamesmasterjasper.com Temper Games.